You know what? I look forward to shad fishing every spring, and for a month, it's the best thing there is. A shad is an amazing fish in that it has still got the saltwater fight in it. Where are the shad coming from? Where are they going? I'll start you off after they hatch, and they're going to hatch probably in the next 60 days up in the north end of the river, about 120 miles from here. They're going to spend the summer feeding on uh, benthic or organisms and plankton coming down the river, feeding on nymphs. And by the time they get back here in August and September, they'll be three inches long, and they'll go through the Delaware Bay out into the Atlantic Ocean to the uh, Sargasso Sea. Once they get to the Sargasso Sea, they'll live there from five to nine years. And then they'll come make that whole journey back, and that's when we'll greet them here with our flutter spoons. We got double! You're gonna put two in one net? Oh, he's got them both. Make some noise, Sandra They don't eat. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's very simple. Um, we know that because in their stomachs there is nothing. Uh, they are clean. So once they hit the fresh water, they don't eat. They are striking at that at that flash. And people ask, uh, you know, what color do they like best, or what is silver or gold better? They are striking automatically at a flash. And I don't believe that any any of it matters. I think that they're just automatically, for some reason, striking at that. The show! I've been fishing here my whole life. I started fishing here just south of here for herring when I was probably 10 years old. It's the Big D, it's the Delaware, it's the best of the Eastern Rivers. It's the uh, longest undammed stretch. It's got everything from shad to stripers to sturgeon to smallmouth bass and so much more. Shad have been a part of the culture of this area since the Indians who netted them for food and dried them. 20 years ago, you'd have come here and there'd been 75 to 100 uh, boats out on the river. If you'd have gone upstream, there might have been 100 guys lining the banks. It's sad to see this part of our culture going away. And I'm doing everything that I can to stop that from happening.